good morning everyone my name is jalai pandya and uh, i am a, one of the partner at paper infinite and today with me i have dr navnath tarle ji he is a chief operating officer and director for india operations at tafrops tafrops is a part of uh, a global leader called cortland international group tafrops is founded in 1992 and it is one of the world's leading manufacturer of high performance synthetic fiber ropes and netting solutions with the product sold in more than 70 countries now tough rope is one of the industry leader and today with me i have dr navna tarle ji uh, let me take a moment and introduce uh, uh, navna tarle ji so welcome dr navna tarle to our uh, interview series and i am sure your word of wisdom will definitely inspire our viewers which are in more than 12 countries now so dr navnath tarle as i said is a chief operating officer and director at tough ropes india operations with more than 20 years experience in manufacturing industry dr tarle had led numerous successful projects which uh, kind of in the area of casting machining electroplating powder coating assembly line and the list goes on uh, dr tarle's competency lies in operational excellence quality management lean six sigma methodology stakeholder management team management and compliance dr tarle is also a six sigma green belt from asq and he holds mechanical engineering degree along with that he has also done his executive mba from symbiosis uh, in operations management so welcome tarle ji yeah uh, so thank you mr jalal and uh, uh, first i would like to thank you fever infinite for inviting me uh, to this uh, series and to share my views so thank you for the same good so sir with na with this let us pr proceed for the first question of the day can you tell us little bit more about yourself our audience would be glad to know about your personal and professional journey so far sir yeah sure so myself dr navnath tarle actually i am from maharashtra so place called nasik and i am a mechanical engineer and also did executive mba from symbiosis and i also uh, got a honorary doctorate for my uh, work in the field of excellence in management and uh, i am i am a basically a lean champion and the six sigma black belt uh, i'm a, i'm a kind of a very passionate about the ehs and now esg and also i'm passionate leader for the people development so this is how uh, people know me uh, from a technical standpoint Uh, for the 30 almost 30 years i am into the casting industry so i was more known as a casting man till now and handling all kinds of metal all kinds of casting process but recently for last one year now i am into the complete unknown field and uh, i am now currently uh, have have taken an assignment which is into the synthetic fiber industry so uh, so this is what is my journey and uh, yes my journey is very uh, satisfying and uh, basically i i am happy that i could touch the lives of some of the people um, uh, where i can actually contributed in their development so uh, as i said uh, my focus is a lot on the people development and i think that is a very satisfying thing for me apart from driving all the business excellence and the operational excellence and the uh, rest of the things in the business no definitely when it comes to uh, people management sir uh, you know wherever um, i go on the uh, shop floor or wherever i work with people with your organization and the amount of respect i can see in their discussion about you that speaks a lot about uh, how you are taking care of people and your people are then taking care of your operations uh, so that that goes without saying sir so moving forward my next question to you sir that tough rope is one of the global leader in the manufacturing of synthetic rope and netting solutions so what sets tough rope apart the 
in its approach to the manufacturing of synthetic ropes and nets how do you envision the future of the country a company in this industry yeah so tuffrop is having a, a long legacy of 30 plus year into the uh, synthetic uh, fiber rope and netting solutions so no uh, and and it it sets it sets apart in terms of our uh, focus on the quality our focus on the customer service so from the beginning tuffrop is always uh, was kind of at par when it comes to the customer service and the quality of our products and also our world class manufacturing uh, now in the recent acquisition by the private equity partner uh, we are basically focusing tuffrop on good to great transformation journey so that is how we are saying that tuffrop 2.0 will be the good to great transformation journey and uh, and basically uh, here we are now trying to leverage our uh, basically synergy between two company a tuffrop and a cotland international so cotland international is also a part of our group company rather tuffrop is a part of now cotland international group and uh, so we have the um, vast manufacturing base and we are proud to say that tuffrop is having one of the largest rope making capacity in the world and uh, so so and then our cotland international uh, cotland international our other company in us they are into very high end technology products and we are a kind of a like now a truly uh, multinational company where we have the operations also in us uh, in canada and in india and we want to leverage the synergy of both these groups uh, to basically have a very exciting journey uh, for our people or our team definitely sir uh, looking at the synergy with one of the world's uh, largest uh, manufacturer row of rope and one of the world's leading uh, technology player uh, that is uh, if i looking at it the future is exciting so in in this uh, exciting world what goals and aspirations do you have for the company as it continues to grow and evolve in the years to come yeah so first is uh, as you know tuffrop is already known into the rope and netting industry so we are already there but now what we are going to differentiate tuffrop tuffrop in its tuffrop 2.0 uh, version is uh, we want to become a employer by choice company so uh, you know uh, there are tough, like this rope industry is a very niche industry so there are not many companies those are really focusing on into the operational excellence uh, ehs and esg management or the people development or kind of lot of systems so now we uh, as you know i have a background of the operational excellence coming from the automotive and non automotive background uh, and led various basically uh, operational excellence initiative in the uh, in a truly world class organization in the past so that is what we are trying to take the road map here and uh, good thing is that our team uh, is having uh, like we have the veterans working with us more than 20 to 30 years and uh, in our 2.0 version also they are with us i think that is one of the major i will say achievement after acquisition that we are able to keep the team together and uh, they are convinced about our a uh, good to great journey uh, and they have like i'm very happy that they started adopting all our new uh, approach towards manufacturing to become a world class manufacturing uh, leader uh, adopting lot of ehs and esg requirement uh, uh, also uh, maybe implementing lot of systems lot of standard and i think that is very exciting for me that uh, they are able to adopt this uh, and we are trying to help them with the good combination of the subject matter expert which we are bringing on board so that we have the good combination of the veterans those are having vast experience technical experience of making the products uh, understanding the application and our customer but at the same time it get coupled with lot of other operational excellence and maybe lean six sigma ehs management and i think that will bring a very niche uh kind of a 
outcome in this industry and uh, and and actually we are able to see some of the uh, initiative we have taken on the leadership development uh, that was never been done in the uh, in the past history of the tough rope so we have conducted leadership retreat for our all the uh, leaders across the organization we have initiated <coughs> the uh, people development program to help them into the change management and apart from that we have also initiated lot of <coughs> soft skill uh, uh, training for them right from the lean fire skyzone uh, uh, safety uh, be it uh, also the some of the very basic thing like uh, uh, powerpoint presentation and then maybe like all computer skill or the some software skill so i think everywhere we have started something where uh, the message is going that uh, we we want to uh, basically transform them to the next level to unleash their basically a hidden potential great so that leads me to my next question which is in line with my earlier question that the success of tough rope cannot just be measured by financial terms but it is also in the positive impact you as an organization have created in people's life and that is very evident because as you said that people or or you can able to retain your team from tough ropes 1.0 to 2.0 you are kind of trying hard as an organization in terms of leadership training soft skill training and making them ready for the future so yeah. can you just share some of the heartwarming stories or testimonial from either your customer or employees that reflects your company's value and commitment to excellence yeah sure so basically um, uh, as i told you uh, we are focusing that uh, uh, like when we are kind of touching the lives of people it's very satisfying and i can see uh, some of the uh, some of the growth opportunities we have created for our old employees they were doing certain role they were uh, kind of uh, uh, having uh, their role limited to one location and we have given some of the people a central role well now they are able to uh, leverage their knowledge and kind of contribute at all pan india level so these are the basically some of the things where we have shown them that we have a potential and uh, you also have a capability with the support from the management uh, and uh, we can also help them to uh, acquire some new skill by sending them for some training they are able to take the central role or take the global role i think these are certain things where that instill the confidence so we have done such changes with some of the people where we created lot of new function and that got a opportunity for the existing people to come and uh, uh, acquire that role so that is that is one thing we have done another thing like as i told you ehs and eag is basically a very close to my heart uh, and also our new owner would like that we should be uh, focusing a lot on this uh, uh, sustainability part of the uh, area apart from the uh, products and uh, we have taken lot of initiative in last one year and i'm very happy to see that uh, my team including the shuffler operator they have adopted it so well and uh, so just last uh, in, uh, uh, few weeks back we have concluded you know national safety week and every every location has celebrated in a grand way uh, this was not done in the past and uh, luckily we had one of our important customer was auditing us on the esg in the same week and we also invited them uh, as a part of the you know safety week closure and and when they saw that management what they uh, uh, they told into the conference hall in the presentation is reflecting on the shop floor and they were able to interact with uh, my shop floor associates and i think that was very satisfying for me and this is what some of the basically uh, what i can say testimonial from our customer as well as our employees just to let you know to uh, as you know uh, like cricket is a is a sport in india which always unite unite us irrespective of our caste religion and that is what just uh, in the month of february we have also uh, concluded tough rope uh, uh, kind of premier league where all the locations have 
participated. They created a team for three, four months. They were practicing. And you can understand the people, those were uh, not uh, playing for so many years, started playing. And that actually created a lot of, uh, uh, maybe you can say, positive morale as well as I'm more seeing that people started focusing on their fitness as well. And uh, so that way we created a lot of uh, inter-planned competition uh, through such kind of uh, events. Uh, and I think these are the some of the things which we could do. Uh, you, you can understand we have just taken off this company last March. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's, it's just one year. Uh, so just on 17th March, we completed first year of our um, operations after takeover. Very nice. In fact, uh, if uh, my client can correlate what I'm saying in a presentation and the same thing is also visible on the shop floor, what better way or what better testimonial uh, than this? Uh, and that instill lots of confidence uh, uh, for the clients as well. And uh, as everyone says, I know many times uh, I go overseas and people ask me like about the uh, religious discussions and I always say that in India there is only one religion and that religion is called cricket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the best way to bond and unite. Uh, so sir, considering the time, I just have one last question for you and uh, uh, it's, it's about us. So we as a paper infinite are working with tough ropes on certain projects and especially on your new lean facility design. So if you can tell our audience that how Paper Infinite's lean facility design impacted your operations, we would love to know more about your experience and the tangible improvements we have achieved together. Uh, yeah, so as, as you know, I have a lean background and I have done a lot of lean activity. I worked with a top class lean consultant in my previous role. And when I came here, so naturally, we are in the process of building our uh, business excellence team. Uh, but I wanted to someone with my team to help them out. And that is how actually uh, through some networking and then some past background, I could reach out to uh, Faber Infinite. Uh, so my experience with the Faber Infinite since I think I met uh, with Akash and uh, rest of your team, I think it's a, a very satisfying experience. Uh, your team is very responsive. And uh, about the project, what uh, your team has done at our Vadodara plant. Uh, yes, so basically I can see uh, they could implement uh, uh, all the good layout principle. Uh, incidentally, I was there when your team was conducting the workshop and I could add some value there and I could actually uh, see uh, on the Gemba what is happening, how they are involving people. I think that is very satisfying. And like basically, uh, I, I can see uh, in the new layout, it is going to be uh, focus on the better flow, which is always my focus that fo uh, flow should be unidirectional, uh, better space management in terms of the space productivity, as well as not compromising on the safety aspect of the layout. Uh, along with that, uh, like all good layout boils down to the better labor productivity. And your team has committed me that uh, the new layout will give 15 to 20 percent productivity. Uh, I'm keeping my finger crossed because it is on the paper, but yeah. yes, the it project is under the execution as we are shifting uh, some of the production line from one location to other. And uh, uh, so just last week we have inaugurated the first line. Incidentally, my global CEO was also with me that, that day and we could show uh, him the work your team has done. Uh, so there is a display for the layout which we can show uh, could show him before and after and i think in the month of june we will be completing the complete execution and i'm very excited to see that 15 20% labor productivity is actually getting realized into the pandl you know finally end of the day it should get realized into the pandl so that is very exciting and uh, i think uh, your team is very responsive so uh, i'm very happy uh, that i got connected with the faber infinite and we have many many such project lineup in future, so which we can definitely explore for the near future. Thank you very much uh, for your kind words, sir. And uh, we are confident that whatever we have committed, that will be translated into reality. And uh, 
we should work in future on many more projects together with this uh, on behalf of faber infinite i would like to thank you very much for sparing your time i know how busy your schedules are and still uh, you know you can able to squeeze in some time for our viewers so thank you very much on behalf of our viewers and thank uh, faber infinite and we look forward to host you again sir thank you sure thank you